guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this wrap top so let's get started they dream with me let your mind explore all the things we For this project, we're going to be using a bodice pattern and you can use whatever bodice pattern you have. Then I'm going to take a pattern paper and as you can see, I've drawn a straight line and that's where I'll be placing my bodice front pattern. And as you can see guys, the pattern paper that I'm using is quite big because we're going to be drawing our wrap on that pattern paper. Next, we're going to take some pins and we're going to be pinning our front bodies to a pattern paper. This is going to help our body stay in place while we are tracing around. Next, you're going to be taking a marker and you're going to be tracing around your neck, your shoulder, your armhole, all the way to your waist and you're going to be stopping at your waist. Then you're going to take your bodice pattern out and then you're going to straighten those lines with your straight ruler and curved ruler. After tracing, we're going to be marking on our waistline 2.5 inches with our tape measure on the line that we drew before, like so. Then from the mark that we made, I'm going to be drawing a 2.5 inches mark out like so. Then I'm going to take my straight ruler and I'm going to connect both marks. Next, we're going to be taking a tape measure and we're going to be marking 15 inches from that waistline and this is going to be for our ties and guys if you want your ties to be longer then make your ties more than 15 inches. Then you're going to be taking a straight ruler and you're going to draw a straight line from that mark. Then on the mark that we made, I'm going to be marking about 1.5 inches up, like so. And then I'll take my straight ruler and I'm going to draw a straight line. Then I'm going to take my cup ruler and I'm going to draw a line from the neck to the 2.5 mark. And then we're going to be taking our straight ruler and we're going to be connecting the 2.5 mark to the 1.5 mark. Then I'm going to take my cup ruler and curve where the two points meet so that we don't have a straight edge. Then on the edges of the ties, I'm going to be marking about 1.5 inches on this line. I'll take my spray ruler and I'm going to connect the lines. Then we're going to be adding 1 inch allowance on this side all the way. And we're going to add at the bottom as well. If you're using the bodice pattern that I showed you how to make, you know that we've already added half an inch allowance to our shoulder, so we're not going to be adding allowance on the shoulder. The only place that we're going to add the allowance is going to be around the armhole and we're going to add half an inch allowance to the armhole. And to those who are using their own bodice pattern, please add your allowance accordingly. So on my bodice pattern, as you can see, I had added around one inch for the darts because I had created some darts. So I'm going to be deducting the darts from the waistline. The darts were one inches wide, so I'm going to draw one inch in from the waistline. Then I'm going to take my straight ruler and I'm going to connect the armhole to the waistline. Mm -hmm. 
so I'm going to mark this as my front bodies and I'm also going to include a note that you're going to be cutting two pieces of this on your fabric so now you're going to be taking your scissors and you're going to cut the piece out and after we are done cutting our front bodies we're going to put it aside and we'll work on our back bodies for our back bodies we are going to take our back bodies and we are going to take a pattern paper then we are going to be placing our back bodies to our pattern paper and we are going to pin it then we are going to trace around like we did for the front after we've traced around our back bodies we are going to be adding half an inch to our armhole like we did to our front Next, we're going to be deducting the 1 inch allowance for our darts on the waistline just like we did for the front. And if your bodies didn't have darts, then you don't have to do this step. I'm going to mark this as the back bodies and we're going to be cutting this piece on fabric on a fold. After we've cut the pieces out, so this is our back bodies and this is our front bodies. Next, we're going to be cutting them on fabric. I've already folded my fabric in half and I've already placed the two patterns on the fabric and remember guys, the back body should be placed on a fold. Then you're going to go ahead and cut your pieces out on fabric. After you've cut your pieces out, so now you should have your back piece and I'll open this up so that you can see that the back piece is cut on a fold so you should only have one piece of a back piece. And then for your front piece, you should have two pieces. Now we are going to be making our sleeve cuff and we are going to be using our sleeve and we are going to mark about 3.5 inches up from the bottom of our sleeve. So now we are going to be cutting our sleeve and I folded my fabric in half then I'm going to place my sleeve on top of the fabric and I'm going to be folding over on that mark that we made like so and then I'm going to cut our sleeve out. After that we are now going to add half an inch allowance to the bottom and after that you're going to go ahead and cut it out. So next we're going to be taking our back sleeve and as you can see it's going to be facing on the right side like so. This is the wrong side. I've written W because you can't really tell on this fabric and this is the right side. And we're now going to take our two front pieces and we're going to place them with the right sides facing each other on the back piece. So now we're going to be sewing the pieces together at the shoulder with a half an inch sewing allowance. After sewing the two shoulders, next I went ahead and did a zigzag stitch at the edge of the fabric to stop it from fraying. Now we're going to open this piece up like so. Next, we are going to be taking our sleeves and we are going to be pinning them at the armhole with the right sides facing each other. Before I pin down the sleeve, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut a little snip so that I know that this is the middle. After we've pinned our sleeve, we are now going to sew around with a half inch allowance. After we've sewn the sleeves, we are now going to be turning our top like so. After turning our top, we are now going to be sewing around the sleeve all the way to our waist. And we are going to be sewing this with a half an inch sewing allowance. Next step, we're going to be making our sleeve cuffs and the length of your sleeve cuff is going to be your full wrist measurement plus one inch allowance. 
And for the width, do you remember that we deducted 3.5 inches from our sleeve? So the 3.5 inches, we're going to add another 3.5 inches, which is going to be 7 inches plus 1 inch allowance, which will be 8. And this is because we are going to be folding our sleeve cuff in half and you'll see that later. So now we are going to be sewing our two sleeve cuffs and we are going to do that by folding them in half like so and then we are going to sew with a half inch sewing allowance. After we've sewn our cuffs, we are now going to take our sleeve cuffs and open the seam like so. Then we are going to be folding it over like so. So now we've got our sleeve on the right side and we're going to repeat the same on the other cuff. So now we're going to be attaching our cuff to our sleeve and as you can see our sleeve is a bit bigger than our cuff so we're going to take a needle and thread and we're going to create gathers. And after you've created the gathers, you're now going to be tying a knot and then you're going to cut it out. And now as you can see, our sleeve is the same size as our cuff and we're going to be sliding it through with the right sides facing each other like so. And then we're going to pin and sew with a half an inch sewing allowance. Now we're going to be creating a facing for our front top and we're going to be taking our tape measure and we're going to measure all around. After measuring, whatever you get is going to be the length of your facing and you're going to add one inch to the length for allowance. So I've already cut a piece of fabric that is the same length that I got and then the width is going to be two and a half inches. So you're going to cut a piece of fabric that is the length that you got and then the width is going to be two and a half inches. So now we're going to be taking our facing and we're going to be placing it on the opening like so. And then we're going to pin it all around. After pinning, we're going to sew with a half an inch sewing allowance. After we've sewn our facing to our top, we are now going to trim down the excess allowance. After trimming the excess allowance, I went ahead and overlocked the edges of the fabric. Next, I'm going to be taking my lining and I'm going to fold it half an inch twice like so. And I highly recommend that you use an iron to press down the lining as it's going to be easier to sew. And now we're going to be sewing the face into the bodice. And our second last step, we're going to be hemming the bottom of our top and we're going to fold it in half an inch twice and then we're going to sew all around. <music> And the last step is going to be hemming the edge of our ties and we're going to do that by folding it twice half an inch and then you're going to sew and this is the final results of our top thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and see you again on my next video bye and god bless Thank you.